in the previous modules you had learned about histogram bar chart and stack bar chart in this module you will learn about pie chart pie charts are pretty charming especially i felt this way a pie chart or a circle chart sometimes also known as circle chart is a circular statistical graphic which is divided into slices to illustrate the numerical proportion of the overall data right make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for all our future video updates it used to be a fascinating way to project the data with labels and numbers via a circle having segmented color section which makes the representation easy otherwise you have to manually apply methods and tweaks to compensate the gap although this is not the gap that you can see here it is just a representation in 3d so that the data is a complete circle and uh, which is shown here so there is no gap here and uh, whatever gap is there we can define it through any random color but white is not the gap just for your understanding well better you should see various options in matplotlib to plot a pie chart i'll open my jupyter notebook and i'll make you understand all the codes and how you can build your own pie chart with that available data so i am in the jupyter notebook and now we'll run these two codes as usual to import the library and we'll see the simple method to pl plot a pie chart let's see we have created data called percent result and uh, you can create it you can create your own data or use your own data and make sure that the sum of this should be 100 it's not compulsory but it's advisable and let's say i'm using subject equal to math physics chemistry bio and it this is just for representation as a label right and to plot a pie chart we'll use method called pi p i e p l t dot pi and the data so the percent result and the label equal to sub in case i want to define the label i can define if i leave the label there will be only data without any label and let's run it to see the result and see how beautiful colorful chart is generated and by the way matplotlib defines its own color so in case if you don't specify it will pick a on random color and i would personally advise you to don't put any color because the way matplotlib handles pie chart is amazing and it will give you all the fascinating color that is required for the data to be represented so this was the simple way to display a pie chart now let's say we wanted to pop out one of the region that you have seen in the slide that let's say you wanted to pop out here um, i have pop out third one so which is chemistry so let's say you want to pop out this so that it looks like focused object okay so how we can do that simple let's the data be same and uh, here in the pie chart we'll use an explode method so x not method so explode property so what explode property does so it is basically the tuple of values right let's say if we put 0 0 0 everything then it will be no change in the explode so it will the graph will be same as you can see here it is same as this one but let's say if you wanted to explode the first one so put point 1 the moment you put point 1 the point 1 the the first data belongs is math and the value is 12 so this will be popped out let's run and see so see the math will be popped out now in the second case let's say you disable this pop and i'll i'll enable chemistry as discussed and once i run it you can see the chemistry portions got popped out right so this is just a focus reason in case you wanted to highlight on a particular region these are the features that you can use and you can also pop out two at a time let's say i'll pop out physics also the second one point 1 and then execute it so both the portions got popped out okay so this is the way that you can use pop function like explode function the name of the function is explode uh, but actually it is popping out all right this was simple right i assume that you understood all right next um, example we have displaying shadow that is just all cosmetic changes and to display shadow just we need we'll put the shadow equal to true this is the simple option all the remaining data is same as previous one just put shadow equal to true and you can see the shadow will be applied if you see clearly here 
all the shadows are there this looks this gives a feeling of 3d effect right all the cosmetics that are sometimes required right i think you would be agreeing with me right moving on to the last uh, example which is displaying portion percentage on each part now as you can see here there is no label mentioned on the top right whatever what is the value of the data that we have seen in the slide let's say we wanted to put the percentage here the number number percentage here we can put it in using auto pct right so auto pct will plot the numeric data and there is a format like percentage and percentage will be there so percentage and percentage these are the you can say the container in which you can display the data 1.0 f means you don't want to display anything after the decimal it will display the exact value without any decimal so there will be no uh, value towards the decimal point let's run and understand so once you run it you will see 42 exact numbers right 42 12 8 18 and 20 in case if you wanted to put 42.0 then you can specify how many decimal point you want to display so let's say i want to display two decimal point so if you write 1.2 then it will be 42.00 so when you run it you can see 42.00 so this basically tells us after decimal how many values you wanted to display so this is the formatting this is fixed formatting you can't change it so i am not interested in displaying anything because i know my data in case if you know that there are some data which is like 28.32 or 28.3 so you can decide uh, till how much decimal point you want to display right so this will help display the data in that particular format and you can use zero and then again i will run it and see 42 all the num 42 12 8 18 and 20 all the numbers are displayed here all right make some sense so now we are at the end of this lesson and i hope you understood it and i would recommend you to download this jupyter notebook which is available in github repository a link is already displayed you can really um, take advantage of this pre-built code and you can add your own data to build custom applications or custom visualization right so well that's it for this session and the complete lesson and thank you for joining with me in this one and i will see you in the next lesson